today our problem statement is that we have to create a program to print this type of structure where 1 then 2 2 then 3 3 3 then fourth line 4 4 4 something like that if you already completed previous day's example then only start this one otherwise go for the previous day's example because there i have already explained the logic of nested loop the flowchart of nested loop so today's example we are simply trying to use the same concept and we are simply go with the program just bit of modifications of previous day's example we are going to create this one so it will be highly recommended that first you complete the previous day's example then you go to this one so previous day we have learned this type of example where first line we create one then second line one two then third line one two three so you can see that each line it is coming as a sequence one two three four one two three something like that but today we are going to use first line it will only print one second line it will only print two two times in third line it will print three three times in fourth line it will print four fourth line and so on so this is the flowchart for this program now only difference between previous day and today is that Previous day we printed here J and today we are trying to print I. Why J? Because we know that each line we are trying to print sequence of that number. So first line 1, then second line 1, 2, then third line 1, 2, 3. But here our statement is bit different that first line we have to print 1, then second line 2, 2, third line 2, 3, 3, right? So that's why for each iterations of the outer one, that value we take and in inner one we will iterate that times and we will print that number that is basically the outer iteration number so if you check the example that we explained previous day so this is the previous day's example where every time we are trying to print j for iterations one of the outer loop we print j as one second iterations we print one and two and third iterations of outer loop we print one two three so all are basically you can see the j value now if we print i value here so first iterations j first time it will iterate one time j or inner loop will be iterate one time and it will print i value as one in second time or second iterations of the outer loop j will iterate two time or inner loop will uh, iterate two times so that's mean it will print again i first time two again second time two because we are printing i third time again i is 3 so that's mean third time j or inner loop will iterate three times so that's mean it will print i value again 3 then again 3 then again 3 and if it's a fourth time then again it will print 4 that is basically i value then again 4 then again 4 and fourth iterations of inner loop again 4 so you will get 1 then 2 2 then 3 3 3 then 4 4 4 and this is our problem statement for two days right so you can see here this is our problem statement now we will use the same logic in eclipse as well and what we have to do let's check that now i have opened my eclipse and this is my nested loop example 2 for today's example and this class is again under the com.demo.nested loop package okay so if i double click here for to get the wider view so here you can see i have just copy paste everything that we did last class okay now what is the exact change we have to do so if we again go to the flow chart so you can see instead of j we have to print i so i am just changing this value j to i okay so that's mean every time it will print or in each line it will print i value okay so that is basically outer outer iterations value right now save it control s then if i double click here and try to run it by click on this button and let's say i have put the n value as 4 then you can see here the output is coming like 1 1 then 2 2 then 3 3 then 4 4 4 4 okay so again if i run it and let's say i want to print it eight time and if i enter here so you can get the result like first one then 2 2 then 3 3 3 the 4 4 4 5 5 5 5 5 something like this so what extra change i have done uh, with respect to the previous day's example only thing is that i have changed here printing statement previously it was j now it's i so that's why very first time of this class i told that first you complete our 
previous example take the idea how the nested loop work take the idea how this nested loop value coming which i explained in excel then you go with this this is the same thing only difference is that instead of j value or the inner loop iterations value we are trying to print the outer loop iterations value and we are getting you can see here the exact result that was expected in our example or problem statement I believe this video has helped you to understand about the topic. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe, click on the bell notifications and select all so that you don't miss any video from this channel.